Hello, welcome to Soprin Intuitive Tarot. My name is Cindy for May 20th. So a little later than normal um, for my Friday video release, but you know, better late than never, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, to all the people who sent me, you know, questions um, and things that they wanted looked at or read on. Uh, that was awesome. And I, I really do, I have little sticky notes all over the place with your requests. But as I was going through them, I noticed that really a lot of them could be answered with the pendulum. And so I decided to kind of work my way through and, um, and, and just answer the questions that way. Now, so let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna answer two Canadian questions, three actually. Um, the first one is regarding there is a, um, a leadership race that's going on right now um, for the Conservative Party leader like, nationally. So, and people are concerned about this one particular fellow named Pierre, something that starts with a P. I honestly I can't even pronounce his last name. Of course, that's not unusual for me. Um, <laughs> So I want to just see if he is likely to win that leadership um, position. Okay, so pendulum back and forth. It's ready to talk to me. Show me yes. And show me no. All right, here we go. So is this Pierre gentleman likely to win the conservative um, leadership spot? No. Okay, so from what I understand, he actually doesn't understand how government works because um, he actually thinks that he can just get into office apparently and just lower the interest rate all by himself because he says he wants to um, because he wants to. So, okay, so maybe he has to get schooled on Canadian politics. Um, second question, Doug Ford is the Premier of Ontario um, and he was the Premier of Ontario throughout the COVID situation. He's conservative. He really likes to think that he is like Trump. Um, and maybe he should have a reflection of what happened to the Trump-like politician, Jason Kenney, who, here in Alberta, who actually just lost his, um, his party support and has now resigned. But anyways, let's check to see if Doug Ford, is he likely to win this uh, the election this fall. Okay, now that's a small no. So, you know, you gotta remember with these sorts of questions, they're relating the energy for right now. Okay, and apparently though, right now he's doing really well in the polls. Um, let me see if I can just ask that another way. Is Doug Ford going to be the Premier of Ontario after this fall election? Okay, that's getting a much firmer no. So let's all breathe a sigh of relief. Now here, we have to have a provincial election here in Alberta. We have to have a provincial election before May 2023. Um, so two questions pertaining to that one. Is there going to be, like, is the election going to get called early? Yeah, it's looking like a no, because you know what? Whoever they cram into that leadership position for right now, um, they're going to want them to have some time to sort of, you know, settle in, I guess. I don't know. Um, as of right now, is Rachel Notley and the NDP party likely to take um, control of Alberta? Is she likely to be our next premier? again for a second time. That's getting a really wow yes. Okay, Canadians, there we have it. All right, these are in, like look at this, these are in no particular order, I just wrote them down. So let's start. So apparently somebody named Charles Booker is running against Rand Paul in Kentucky. Um, is Charles Booker going to be able 
to gain Rand Paul's seat. Okay, so that's a yes. Sorry, reposition mates up here. Okay, that's a yes. Let me ask it this way. Is Rand Paul going to maintain his seat in Kentucky after the next election? Okay, that's a no. Okay. Okay, somebody wanted to know, a couple of people in fact, wanted to know if the governor of Kentucky, Brashear, is going to be re-elected. Is Brashear going to be re-elected as the governor, governor of Kentucky? Well, that's just a big old excited yes. Okay. Um, somebody asked me a question, and I'll just share this with you now. Somebody wrote in the comments that they wanted me to read on, is America going to lose its democracy? To which I replied, the appropriate question is, are Americans going to lose their democracy? Pendulum answer. No. But the other thing I did say was it's going to take a lot of work. It's not just a given. Okay. Um, somebody wanted me to read on the... Um, the replacement, um, the, the great replacement theory that Tucker Carlson is blabbing about these days again. Um, I'll do a reading on that as opposed to a pendulum. Oh, somebody wanted to know if Gavin Newsom is likely to run for president. I guess that would be for the 2024 election. Is he likely to run? No, that's interesting, eh? Nope. Doesn't look like he's going to be running for president in 2024. So let's ask this Does he have? presidential ambitions okay so yes he does so maybe he just thinks he's a little young maybe he wants to get a few more years as governor under his belt i don't know um somebody also um pointed out that we often ask about indictments are indicts our indictments coming down but we don't very often or i rarely i or maybe never ask if there are going to be convictions. So I'm going to ask um, it, it, three sort of separate questions. Is Trump, how do I want to phrase this? Is Trump or his close circle going to be convicted of criminal charges in New York City? That's a yes. Okay. Same question, Georgia. Is there a conviction coming for Trump in Georgia? Yes. And is there one coming or several coming, I guess, from the U.S. Department of Justice. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. So when the pendulum just goes still like that, it means that there isn't an answer. There is not enough. There's just not enough energy sort of one way or the other. So I guess energy doesn't count if um, people just want it. I think it, there has to be um, like a, a bigger energy print to get the answer. Sometimes, though, when the pendulum does that, it also means they're not going to give you an answer right now. Okay. <laughs> Somebody wanted to know if the um, if Trump's truth social is going to fail. And frankly, okay, so it's a yes, but honestly, it already is. I mean, it's an absolute disaster, this thing. So that I don't think is going to go anywhere. Okay. Um, is Beto O'Rourke going to win as 
Texas's new governor after this election? That's a pretty strong yes. Wow. So that's looking really good for him. Um, somebody wanted to know if Dan Patrick, I don't know who this guy is, is going to lose to a Democrat. And again, it's gone still to really to tell. If they don't know who the Democrat is, that's going to impact it. We're going to ask that same question about somebody named um, Ken Paxton. Is he going to lose to a Democrat? Uh, okay, I'm getting a no there. I hope he's a Republican. Um, okay, somebody wanted to know if Florida, Georgia, or Texas are going to go blue. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, before I do that, let's take a look at whether um, this Christ guy, sorry, his first name escapes me, um, is going to beat DeSantis or the governor, the governorship of Florida. Let's ask that. Is DeSantis going to lose his next election for governor? Is he going to lose his seat as the governor of Florida? Yes, that's a pretty firm yes, too. Okay. Um, okay. Is, is Florida likely... I don't know. Okay, I got to say, I don't think it's going to go blue. I think it's going to go purple. And by that, I mean, there's going to be, you know, sort of a balance, if you will. Um, as opposed, Because right now it's like almost ruby red, right? And so I don't know that it's going to flip blue. So let's ask if, if um, Democrats are going to gain more control um, in Florida. Are Democrats likely to gain more control in Florida? Okay, that's a yes. So all you people out there in Florida, remember that the state legislators also need to be Democrat in order to support the governor. Because otherwise you end up with what you have, which is where Democrats can't, um, there, there's not enough of them to sort of impact the, the vote or, you know, stop the governor from being a goof. Hang on, I gotta find out what's on my eye. Hang on. Sorry about that. You know, sometimes that cat hair is so fine. Anyways. Um, okay. How about Georgia? Is Georgia going to um, experience an increase or a significant increase in the Democrats? State, federal, and that's a yes. And Texas. Is Texas going to see a significant shift to the Democrats? So then what I would say there is obviously the governor race is important. The state races are important. And um, of course, the national, the senator races and stuff like that. And House. Um... Oh, somebody wanted to know if Kamala Harris is going to run for president in 2024. That's a no. Is Joe Biden going to run for president in 2024? No. Okay, I know a lot of you are getting yes answers for that. That's okay. Oh, somebody wanted to know if Charles Flynn um, was instrumental in um, slowing down the release of the National Guard um, on January 6th. That's going to be a full reading. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, in North Carolina, 
Somebody wants to know if Sherry Beasley, a Democrat, is going to win her seat um, for the Senate. Right now looks really good. That's a yes. Susan Collins, is she going to be able to maintain her seat in Maine? No. Wow, that's a really big no. So I'm going to guess that there's going to be a real significant number of woke people in Maine voting. You know, like people like women and men who don't think that women need to be nothing better than breeders. Those kind of people, I can think that they're going to be voting. Oh, uh, somebody wants to know if, well, I want to know this too, actually, if Stacey Abrams is going to win um, the governor's seat in Georgia. Okay, that's a yes. Um, I just, um, is, is Kemp going to win over Purdue for the Republican side of that ledger? Is Kemp going to run, win over Purdue? And that's a yes. Uh, somebody wants to know if Warnock is going to be able to keep, keep his seat in Georgia. Is Reverend Warnock going to be able to keep his seat in Georgia? That's looking like a pretty strong yes. Um, and in Georgia, people, someone else wanted to know if um, there's going to be more Democrats elected to the state, I guess, legislator in Georgia. That's a yes. Somebody asked about um, Shara Godlewski versus somebody named Ron Initial J um, for the Senate in Wisconsin. Okay, so is Sarah going to beat Ron for a Senate seat in Wisconsin? Right now, that's a no. So for those of you who like or supporting her, get busy. Um, oh, somebody wanted to know if somebody named Saul Sandoval is going to um, bounce Lauren Bobbitt out of her seat. Yes. Or Bobert, or however you're pronouncing. Yes. So really interesting. Just before I came on to do this, um, I was watching a little blurb, I think it was on MSNBC, or one of them, um, and they were talking about the same group of Republicans that sort of um, went after and stopped Madison Cawthorn, um, and isn't that lovely that he lost? I mean, come on, that's brilliant. Um, but anyways, that same sort of political group, apparently their next target is Bobart. So uh, that's going to be interesting to watch because I guess the crap's going to start flying about her and her shenanigans. Um, somebody wanted to know if a Josh Shapiro was going to um, get the governor's seat in Pennsylvania. Josh Shapiro. Okay, so right now that's looking like a pretty strong yes. Okay, so um, that is the end of the questions that I got so far. Um, like I said, some of them are more involved and I'm going to do, you know, readings on those as um, the days and weeks ahead unfold. So this is kind of a short video day for me. Um, all right, so it's the weekend. As always, you know, happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Try to recharge a bit, get some rest, get some sun, whatever it is that takes you to your happy place, do that. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope the answers are um, helpful. And I also love, love, love when uh, the people who do the pendulum along with me let me know in the comment section. Um, 
if they're agreeing or disagreeing. It just um, it's really cool to um, to get those comments. So keep them coming. As always, thank you to my subscribers, my viewers, the thumbs up, the comments, they're all brilliant. And of course, they help strengthen my channel. Um, this channel has actually been stalled at um, 9,160 subscribers for like weeks now, in part because, of course, I'm being very flaky about, um, you know, getting out here and getting the videos out in a consistent manner. But for those of you who may still be listening to me ramble, if you haven't subscribed, perhaps you would like to. Until next time, take care. Be well. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.